Hey guys, this is Glockmeister26. I just wanted to give a quick update on my Glock 22 Gen 4. Um, as I told you in one of my past videos, I was adding these um, night sights, the True Glow night sights. Um, actually, they're both night sights and they are um, the glow in the dark. I'm sorry, they're the glow in the dark and they're enhanced by sunlight. So as you can see, as I turn towards the sunlight, uh, they're pretty bright. And they'll also glow in the dark without any use of sunlight. Probably can't see it there, maybe a little bit. Um, they were very easy to install. And I say easy because I'm a Glock armor, therefore I have the Glock tools, the stuff you need to put these on. I'm not saying you can't do it without the Glock tools, but I'm saying that it's gonna be a lot more difficult, especially this front sight. The only way to put on that front sight is using this little uh, special uh, screwdriver that holds onto that bolt on the back of the sight. You'll also have to use Loctite. I've done this for about maybe 10, uh, 10 Glocks, and uh, only one of them has come loose. And from what I understand, uh, my buddy, the one that actually shot the Glock, uh, shot it about 30 minutes after I placed the night sights on him. For him, they were the night sights only. They weren't these uh, True Glow. Anyway, I got a pretty good deal on Bowtech.com. Uh, for you, those of you who haven't shopped with Bowtech, um, they don't charge any uh, shipping and no tax. Uh, they're already, uh, from California, so my packages get here pretty quickly. Um, they have a lot of stuff for the Glock, and they just had a sale for $19.99, any magazine. For those of you that don't have restrictions on magazine capacity, um, it, it was a pretty good deal. Um, I've been shooting this uh, 22 round, 40 cal magazine in my Glock, and it's been um, functioning flawless. Very happy with it. Um, I'm happy to say that uh, I've had no jams with it, no problems, which is a good thing because this is my uh, shit hits the fan uh, magazine. Uh, these are the standard ones that come with it. They are 12, uh, I mean, sorry, 14 round plus one in 15 in uh, capacity. Um, these have never given me any problems. And um, I always have them loaded. I know there's an issue with some people saying that if you keep them loaded all the time, it'll somehow deteriorate the spring. Uh, it hasn't been the case because really they just sit in my magazine pouches fully loaded all the time and when I do shoot them at the range I mean then again I do shoot every Monday and Tuesday uh, these guns are seeing uh, uh, trigger time every Monday and Tuesday I try to stay proficient with all the firearms that I have the Glock both my Glocks and my SIG uh, because my life does depend on them so I make sure that um, I I'm very proficient with them anyway guys this is another look at it the only other modifications I made to this gun um, is the extended uh, slide release or light slide stop. Uh, as you see, it sticks out a little bit, but not too much. And this little uh, butt, butt plate, butt stock uh, plug. Um, one of the things I noticed, uh, well actually that I read about, was a guest on Glock had said that um, the reason he didn't cover this was because this is where all the crap falls out of, out of uh, when it's, um, all the accumulation of um, carbon or other debris falls out through the back and exits. And once you plug this up, uh, it doesn't allow that. Well, this isn't a permanent plug. As you can see, there's a little button here. And it basically just goes under under pressure, under friction. And uh, you can't take it out. <clears throat> uh, if I had to estimate how many rounds this gun has gone through already, it would be about 1,500. Uh, last time, I think it, I was at 700. And since then, I put on another 750, 800 rounds through it. Um, flawless. So anyway, here's another look at these sights. Um, like I said, they not only work in the sunlight very well, they're good for shooting uh, pistol competitions. You can acquire them very quickly. I wish I had gotten the one with the red side in the front or the different color in the front, but uh, I couldn't find them. And on top of that, these were on sale. So I figured I'd pick them up. Um, they don't interfere with the holsters I have. Um, I wouldn't. I don't think they're any higher than uh, the original factory sights. So anyway, I'm still rocking the N3X, but I am going to be uh, upgrading with the Surefire and maybe using this for one of my other guns. Uh, most of the time, this is the one I use for home protection. So um, you know, I like to keep the nicer flashlight out in the field. So when I do get the other, the Surefire. They just went down in price. Um, I think I'll be replacing that one. Although this has been re very reliable, but I have seen people that lose this piece right here, this plastic piece that retains it. 
Um, I have seen people lose that. It breaks. I think that's why it comes with an extra one in the little packaging that you get these, um, this flashlight in. It does come with an extra piece, and I believe that's because these break. Anyway, that's just a quick update, guys. Uh, this gun is still awesome. I'm hoping to pick up um, the Gen 4 a 9mm full size, uh, possibly in the Coyote tan brown uh, uh, lower. Uh, when I do get that, then uh, I'll post a video. All right, have a good day.